Hello, hello. Welcome back to day two of the infected. So happy you decided to drop in. Uh, I hope everybody is doing well today. I forgot to go over this with you yesterday. If you're a new player, I'm terribly sorry. Uh, so you gather, these are the tutorial tasks. Very, fairly easy to get through. I mean, you gather a stick and a stone and make a stone axe. We've done that. Craft stone blade. Gather plant fiber by chopping down a tree. Then you make a pickaxe. Make your saw bench. Make a foundation. Campfire. Then you got to find the carbs. That's the veggies. Hunt for proteins. That's our animals. And now all I have left to do on that is build a forge and make an iron ingot. Uh, hopefully we can get close to doing that today. I'm hoping anyway. Alright, what I want to do is go down here and figure out where I want to build my house. Let's check my food and water here. Yeah, I need some food and water. Let's better run back over here before I start doing that. Let's get into our food pile. I'm going to eat that. You do eat a lot of food in this game. It takes a lot of food to fill you up. Okay. And I'm going to go into my inventory over here. I'm going to eat some meat. Get my protein up. As you can see, the bars are going up. And over here, you see this little red area around the heart at your of your health bar. Uh, whenever that circle is complete, you'll actually get a point. Uh, so your health will go up. Uh, let's see. Drink some water. Okay. Now we're ready to go. Let's run over here, figure out where we're going to build our house. Okay. Over here, in this corner, is the cave. Right there. So I want to build close to that. So I think I'm going to build right over in here. And what I was talking about yesterday about the road, that's the road there. See the steep sl uh, slopes? The lowest slope. Ooh, looky there. Oh, oh, oh. Grab a watermelon. That is the lowest part of the road. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not pretty looking like a lot of the other places. But I will overlook that. Feathers. I will overlook that road because, simply because I really, really like the cave here. Harvest that. That'll give us a snack later. All right, now, building. I'm going to my inventory. I'm going up here to the little books. And I want the foundations. Kind of lay it out. I'm just going to build a simple five by five. To start with, just so I can kind of get up and running. Let's see, let's start down here, maybe. Where do I want to start it? Okay. More like that. And if you hold X, 
and your scroll wheel, it raises and lowers your foundation. I mean, I can go all the way down to nothing with it. Okay, let's go up one. Okay, so I want to start there. One. I'm going to put one there for now. Two. Three. Okay. What I am going to, so I'm going to start it over here because I want uh, a little patio or something in the back, I think. Okay, so I'm going to tab out of that. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to hit delete, and I'm going to del hit delete on my keyboard, and delete that one. And then I should be able to go back to my inventory, back to that, back to the foundations and they just snap in place whatever size foundation you have it'll go to that size and it'll uh, attach to it just snap to it two three four and five I want five inside so I'm gonna go no. No, I don't. Tab out of that. Delete. Oh, well. Delete. Confirm. I like, if you go with odd numbers, you can center your door where you want it. If you go with an even number, then, you're, then your sides are going to be off. I like, I kind of like mine symmetrical. All right, let's do that again. Back to the foundations. Okay, that'll make two, three, four, five, two, three, four, five, two, three. Four and five, and then I'm just going to fill it in. Like so. And then tab it out of it. Make sure all of my foundations are all going, or the boards on the foundation are all going the right way. All right. Now, what I am going to do now is I am going to run down here to my saw benches and I am going to move them up here, work on the little starter base. It's not going to be anything special. I mean, it's just five by five square, but it's a start. And this one's empty. Let's grab that one. All right, you hit N to move. N as in Nancy to move. Then you just drag it over where you want it. Put down, hit E to put it down. One more. Now I'm going to have to pick these up. Make sure, let's get everything moved away so I can carry all that I can. Hear the raccoon? Greedy little creature. Okay, in. There he is. Same. to put it down. 
Okay. Now, since I already have some planks on me, let's get rid of those using E. Okay, that's all of them. Take my axe, which is in slot one. Chop down these trees. I'm just going to throw them over here. Each one of these foundations is going to take logs and planks, so I'll need a lot of them. Get these out of the center of the house. down one more of these then we'll just chop down a bunch of trees but I figure right here I'm close to the cave I'm close to the road uh, it's a little bit of a run to the water but I can deal with that all right now, let's start putting, chop down a bunch of trees and start putting logs in the foundation. Come on, Betty. Don't stop chopping. Got a lot of chopping to do. I'm going to grab a swig of coffee while I'm chopping it down. Oh, that's good. I'll be happy when I get my cart. That's one of the first things whenever I get iron ingots that I try to make. That little stump right there you can chop it down and you get firewood out of it. But it takes as much chopping on that as to get the firewood as it does to chop down one of the big trees. So I don't usually bother with it. Unless I don't have any trees left. Which happens. The trees do grow back. It just takes a few days. But they do grow back. Now, they won't grow within a certain area of where you have built. So, you you know, if you want to keep trees in a certain area, watch where you're building. All right. Let's grab some of these logs. I'm going to start right here. Four logs in each one. So it does take a lot of logs. Takes four logs and six planks so it does take a lot of material for the foundations the walls and things like that doesn't they don't take as much but the foundations are really expensive when it comes to logs you know trees But I am just starting 
little bit bigger than I really need to be but uh, I probably won't be building anything until maybe next year it depends on how I go you know how how fast everything comes together and with this new electrical system I figure I gonna have a problem for a while Four in there grab some more I'm gonna have to chop some more logs here in a minute All those trees I've chopped down and I haven't completed two rows of logs yet. So you can tell it, it takes a while. Then I'm going to chop all these right in here. And, oh, there looks like there's a melon. If I have room for it, but yeah, I do. Okay. Oh, that storm is loud. And my axe just broke. Okay. So, I am going to need a stick and a stone. Luckily, that's all it takes. It's just one stick and one stone. There's a stone. Give me a stick. Sometimes sticks are harder to find. There's one. Alright. Alright. So I'm going to go to the anvil and hammer. I'm going to shift over a stone, stick, axe, and it goes right back into one. Goes back in the one slot. Uh, down there in the right bottom corner, it says stone axe, and there's a white circle beside it. Uh, when that circle is gone, <laughs> your axe breaks. There is damage on all of your tools. Turns red, you're standing too close. here. Try to get some of this done today. Chop some more trees here in a minute. Should be on the third row. Look at that raccoon. Just making himself at home. He's so nosy. He's got to see what you're doing all of the time. Hey, okay, back to chopping. Might as well clear out this area over here. And we'll move to another spot. I'm still going to need a lot more planks. But once I get the uh, logs in there, then we'll get the wood, get the planks going again. I'm 
you see my water and my food levels are going down and I have it on slow where the food doesn't go away as fast yet it still goes down pretty fast I mean just because it's on slow you're still going to need need to eat and drink a lot Oh, now I'm overburdened. So, and it's usually these plant fibers. Eventually, I'm going to have to keep them because there is. Uh, get rid of my bark chips too. Because they're, you're going to need them for other things. But uh, right now, I don't have to have it. Third. That one's done. Almost have another row done. Okay. Already remember I put those planks in those. Start when I start putting the planks in because you can actually see something happening. But like I told you, this the uh, uh, the grind is real. You can go in and activate uh, the free build setting, and it'll whatever there's something you want to build. You just click on it and it automatically fully built, you know, like a foundation or a wall or any anything you want to build. But I like the grind. I like to keep some of it good. Not all of it, just some of it. And the birds and the animals will mess up your log piles. They, they, it's like kids running through leaves. They just, something about it they just love to do. So you, you'll have a nice pile of logs laying out here somewhere and uh, yeah, they'll run right through it. Scatter them everywhere. That one. Okay. Chop some more. Grab a swig of coffee. Probably won't get much of this built in this episode, but what I'll do is I'll collect a lot of material so we can finish it up in the next one. Or finish up the foundations anyway. You don't really need, I mean, you've seen how the foundations are done. You don't really need to watch every one of these foundations built, but. I mean, it's up to you if you want to see the, see every tiny detail that I'm doing. There, okay. One more row to go with the logs. Then we'll start on the planks. 
and probably by the time this is done I'm gonna have to build collect a bunch more sticks and I need to make some plank stands that way he won't have to uh, hold so much you know make some and then run back and chop more trees make some more make it go just a little bit quicker if I have some already made all right let's go come on Betty couple more come here one of those three more logs then I'll have all of my logs in okay now planks You think three of these uh, saw benches, you'd have a lot of planks, but really you don't. You're constantly going to have to be making planks. And as you notice, I'm running and my stamina is going down. Okay, let's chop some of these. And you notice the damage to my axe, it's going down. Once we get into the iron tools, it will, uh, they will last a little bit longer. And if I remember right, you can repair those, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I was thinking you can. Right over here and grab these. Come on, Betty, get that axe going. here and grab these these uh, pieces of just these little logs laying around not really anything you can do with those rotten logs they're just decoration I've, clear, I've cleared this area out pretty good. We should be getting close to having three full saw benches. Yep, they're full. See, they you can't put any more in there. So I'm going to drop those. Let's go over here. I'm going to look in my inventory. Move that over there. Drop that. Drop that. And I'm even going to drop my chips because I'm going to be chopping a lot more wood. Okay. Right click to pick them up. I should be able to, yeah, I got the whole thing in there. That's one, two, three, so 
so I can do three and just a little over three foundations with one full saw bench. So you see what I mean. It takes a lot of wood. A lot of logs. Yep. One more, one more stack. Whenever you get the advanced stall bench, the, the better one, uh, it, uh, you get twice as many planks out of it, so you're not using as much wood. Right now, for every log I put on there, I get two planks. All right, well, I guess this will do it for today. I am going to chop some more trees and make some more planks, finish getting this filled in, try to get another three things of planks made, maybe some more trees chopped down, and we will start up with the walls in the next episode. I hope everybody enjoyed yourselves today. If you did, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. Everybody take care, and I will catch you in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, lot to do, lot to do.